New music for NTU. This is this is Fly FM. All right, I am here with the Riptide Movement. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, bro? How are you? Doing? How are you? Yeah, we've uh, enjoyed Dot to Dot so far. So you at Manchester and Bristol the past couple of days. Yeah, yeah, well. we've uh, we're really enjoying these kind of festivals, these city festivals. Um, the first one we did was back in uh, just the start of the month, live in Leeds, and uh, we done great escape last week and then Dot to Dot this week. Yeah. So. It's uh, it's kind of yeah, it's steady like we we go vibe around the city. And it's, uh, it's a lot different to the to kind of camping weekend festivals. Mm. So we kind of really j- to just them before that we haven't really done these kind of festivals. So right, it's a great. Yeah. It's cool just to be walking around checking out loads of different bands, and it's really easy to move around and all. And there's lots of lots of great bands around. Well, your new music video well, all works out. Came out not too long ago. What was the idea behind the the, the video? Like, how did you get? sort of that place it's a really cool video very strange very bizarre but in like a good way like how yeah, did you get there the um the, there's a guy two guys that made it uh, johnny han and uh, uh thomas and they came up with the idea the concept we loved it straight away yeah. that, was, that was brilliant uh so they're going to be actually making our next video as well uh, for animals so they're just a really cool idea for that one as well but uh now these guys are they've got they're brilliant brilliant what to do with got really really cool quirky ideas and yeah. love working with them yeah it's, it's one of us Probably interesting videos I've seen recently. It's, but it's, quite, it's kind cool. of a cool way of like, you know, like you know, when music videos like this either I don't know a narrative, yeah. or then it's like I know a bandy one where they're all just like, yeah, look at us, we're cool playing. But it's I, I like the idea of uh, the, what I loved about it was that like, you're getting the narrative, but you're getting the live performance of the band, but even though it's, it's uh, her imagination. Yeah. So it's a cool way of kind of bringing the two together. Yeah. So you got your performance and your narrative. Yeah, so, so I really like and that. Also, there's um, we got Amy Huberman in the video. I don't know oh, if you yeah. know Brian O'Driscoll, um, the rugby player. Right, yeah, yeah. He's kind of real famous in Ireland around the world, but his wife was uh, starring in the video and she did an amazing job. And uh, she's, she's famous in her own way. Yeah, she's, she's famous in her own way. She's a great actress yeah. herself. Uh, she's a big actress back at home and she's done some stuff over here as well. Yeah, though. yeah, she's, in, she's, well, she's well known over here, but she's, yeah. she was amazing in the video. And Saoirse Ronan's dad, Paul Ronan, was also in the video. And he's he's well known as well, and mm. both of them. Yeah, he's been in some good films as well, like so. Yeah. Did that really made the video brought some kind of magical element to it as well, like the great acting in it. You know? Yeah. And all the ex- all the actors oh, yeah. that played the patients were. Yeah. They, yeah. they were really like, because you know, making music videos uh, like they can be like, they can be quite boring and they, and they go on for hours. Yeah. But they they were having they were having great yeah, back yeah, amongst yeah, themselves. Yeah. You know, they were really. Uh, Stayed up for the whole two days we were shooting it, and yeah. they, were, wow. they were they really got into character. It was brilliant. So, <laughs> yeah, so they, they wouldn't go out with character. They were like, what are you, what are you doing, man? You, you just that what you were like? That actually is their character. They are all actually mental patients. That's what it was. They're not <laughs> yeah. extras. They're just taking them from the local hospital. So, what would you guys say is probably the biggest surprise of your career so far? Then, I suppose uh, opening for Rolling Stones, Holly Park, mm. for for us that is very memorable, very big. Uh, like they have a big influence on our music. So to have the opportunity to, to play with them in the high parks. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it'd be the Stones or Neil Young. We got to support Neil Young in the marquee in Cork and uh, we got to get on stage. We weren't we weren't supposed to be there, we snuck on stage. We're rocking in the free world. And I just the best feeling in my chest and in my head when I was watching that because that's one of my favourite songs. But uh, that or the Stones, yeah, the Stones is like we got to meet Charlie Watts in the canteen as well, so yeah. it's just I suppose then uh, I suppose our album got number one in Ireland. Was, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a big deal yeah, as well. Well, well that's that's well, my next question. Like, what, what was the? Do you remember the feeling like when you found out you were sort of? I think was it like the week after it was released? What, yeah, do you it was. That feeling? Yeah, I, yeah, it was, it was really cool because um, we were kind of we kind of had no idea that we were gonna it was gonna chart fairly high. Yeah. Uh, and then of course we were just kind of hoping it would win a number one, and, and it did. And it was great. Yeah, we just like grabbed a few bottles of champagne. And we went up and, and drank them on top of. Um, we, we shot this our first music video. It was called Reno. Yeah. And we shot it up on top of this uh, big car supermarket uh, car park just over Grafton Street in Dublin. That's good. And uh, so we grabbed a few bottles of champagne, went up and drank them, and then we went out with the record label that day. They were actually we had a lot of champagne that day. <laughs> <laughs> if you could describe each other as an animal, what would the other person be? Very psychological. Uh, <laughs> See, I, I know a dog, definitely a dog. A dog. Because he's. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he has his head stuck out the side of the, the, side of the van all the time, man. Uh, uh, yeah, he's like, he's sometimes. He's like, he, yeah, Shaggy, or the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind uh, of what, what would he be there? I, I call him uh, like a bear because sometimes he's got. Uh, he's, he's an amazing. Um, 
at getting things done, but sometimes the cool things can't get done. <laughs> He starts kind of banging stuff yeah, and getting really aggressive. A little bit aggressive. I'll just give him a jar of honey you got here. <laughs> well, um, good luck with your, uh, your show later today. Uh, nice hopefully, we'll, hopefully, we'll be around and we'll have to check it out. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and get a new album, first of June. Get it through. Yeah. Right, well, where, where can we find you on like Facebook and Twitter and all Yeah, that? Facebook, Twitter, uh, Riptoid, the Riptoid Movement, and uh, trm.ie is our website. Brilliant. Cool. Alright, thank you very much guys. Cheers bro. Thank Thanks you. So much. Thanks. Thank you.